Configuration Manager continually generates status messages. Although the default settings that determine when warnings and errors should be generated are sufficient for most environments, we can adjust these settings if required. And in this little demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we modify the status message summarization thresholds and also the status filter rules. So to start with, all we'll do here is we'll just come down to administration. Then within administration, we'll come to sites. And within sites, we're going to come to our admin site. Right click, and what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to our status summarizers. Now, the purpose of a status summarizer is to provide a high level, real time view of health of various components within our config manager deployment. So, we're going to have a look at things, for example, like component status summarizers, site status summarizers, application summarizers as well. And in Configuration Manager, all components do report information about their behavior and data flow in the form of status messages. So unlike log files, which will actually log everything, what happens with our status messages, we only generate status messages with significant events. So let's just look at our component status summarizer, and we'll just edit this. This then brings us into a little admin wizard. So within the admin wizard, what we have here is we have, for example, and what we have set here is enable status summarization. So we've turned this on. We're going to replicate to our parent site normally. And the threshold period here will be everything since 12 a.m. Next thing we have here is if we just go for our thresholds tab. On the thresholds tab here, as we can see, we've got loads and loads of information. So currently what we have here is we've got informational status messages. But if we click on the drop down, we can also do warning status messages and error status messages. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll go for our error status messages. And what you may note here is that we can configure thresholds for each type of message individually. So what we do here is, as we can also notice, we can also set the warning or critical thresholds based on the number of messages created, but not actually the content of the messages. So if we want to modify any of these, all we need to do is just highlight the thing we want to modify. So I'm going to go for SMS AD system discovery. And if we just double click, what we can do here is what we're going to say here in the case of error messages here, I actually want a warning if I get two errors rather than one. Once I've modified that, I'll just click OK. And then what we do is just click OK again. And what we'll also do is just close down the state summarizers. Next thing we'll have a look at here is just modifying the status filter rules. So all we'll do is we'll right click our site again. And what we're looking for here is we're just looking for our status filter rules. So what we can see here is we've got some rules in place. So we can see which ones are enabled and we can see the priority as well. So for example, if we just pull this across a little bit, what we can see here is we've got detect when the status of a site database changes to critical. What we can do here is we can decrease the priority, increase the priority, we can disable the rule, we can delete the rule, we can also edit the rule. So if we just edit the rule here, so what it's saying here is critical because it could not be accessed. So we can see the source, site code, system component, so we can see exactly when this will come into play. And what we can also see as well is the action when this comes into play. So for example, all we're going to do at this point here is just report to the event log but as we can see here we could write to the config manager database we could replicate the parent site we could run a program we could say do not forward to the status summarizers and we could also say do not process lower priority status filter rules as well so let's just cancel out of this now what we'll do here is we'll just modify our write audit message to the database and specify the period so as we can see here the message type is in order but if we click on the drop down we can't change that we can turn on additional tick boxes. And if we just go at the actions at this point here, what we've also got is the actions as well. So as we can see, we can write the config manager database. We can allow the user to delete the messages after how many days. So what we'll do here is we'll just actually modify this to, let's make this 365. And then what we'll do is we'll select OK. And we'll select OK again. So what we've done here in this very quick little demo is we've just had a look at how we can modify some of the information that is reported from Config Manager back to various components within our organization. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.